And I am delighted to be here and to announce that, that EMA Scientific Committee met today and recommended a conditional marketing authorization in the EU for the vaccine developed by BioNTech and Pfizer. The recommendation is to prevent COVID-19 in people from 16 years of age. Our scientific opinion paves the way for a first marketing authorization of a COVID-19 vaccine in the EU with the corresponding safeguards, controls and obligations. It will be valid in all 27 member states at the same time, and it provides them with a firm scientific foundation for the rollout of their vaccination programmes and a continuing framework for control and supervision of the vaccines. It is a significant step forward in our fight against this pandemic, which is causing suffering and hardship for so many people, not just in Europe, but all over the world. This is really a historic scientific achievement. Within less than a year, a vaccine will have been developed and authorised against a new disease. This is the result of unparalleled mobilisation and sharing of information between scientists, industry, regulators, healthcare professionals, patient representatives and public health bodies across the globe. The combined global manpower has enabled the development time frame to be compressed, while at the same time enabling robust scientific studies to be done. As medicines regulators, we have forged strong bonds with our sister agencies in other regions of the world, and under the umbrella of the International Coalition of Medicines uh, Regulatory Authorities, we have led the global efforts to streamline regulatory requirements for vaccine developments so as to facilitate their development and approval. Today, I would like to celebrate and acknowledge the tremendous and tireless work behind the scenes of a very high number of experts from all EU member states and my colleagues in the EMA who have been involved in the review of this vaccine. I have said several times that we have been working around the clock. I receive emails at all hours of the day and night, and some of our meetings have been held at weekends. Since the onset of this pandemic, EMA and the network of competent authorities in the EU member states have set up an agile infrastructure with a pandemic task force, the COVID ETF, bringing together all the best expertise to facilitate fast decision-making by our scientific committees, and in particular, the Human Medicines Committee, which has now recommended the vaccine, and also the Safety Committee, the Pharmacovigilance and Risk Assessment Committee. Our experts engaged in early in a dialogue with developers, and in October, EMA started to evaluate data on the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine in what we call a rolling review, a practice whereby data is reviewed on an iterative basis as it becomes available while development is still ongoing. The companies then submitted a formal marketing authorization application on the 1st of December. Our experts have worked tirelessly to reach a robust science-based consensus from the, which from the start of the rolling review until the final CHMP today has been achieved in just 11 weeks when we would usually expect to spend a year or more. But this time frame has been facilitated by the size of the trial and the strength of the evidence, but also by the responsiveness of everyone involved, scientists, experts, project managers, and of course the company itself. But let me say this very clearly. While we have taken every step to expedite our evaluation processes, ensuring vaccine safety has been our number one priority. These vaccines will be given to millions of people in the EU, and we are keenly aware of the huge responsibility we have to get these recommendations right for European citizens. In the last few months, EMA has seen the intense debates taking place in the public arena, while some calling for a speedier approval, while others were concerned that development was going too fast to ensure safety. We at EMA have kept our steer and we've been guided by the strength of the scientific evidence and nothing else. 
Our conclusion, which relies on the data from clinical trials in over 40,000 participants and takes into account additional data even received this weekend, is that the vaccine meets the rigorous EU standards for safety, efficacy and quality and is manufactured to high pharmaceutical standards. The evidence convincingly shows that the benefits are greater than the risks of the vaccine, and the CHMP chair, Dr Ensman, will explain our evaluation in more detail. But our work does not stop here. We will continue to collect and analyse data to ensure that use of the vaccine is always based on the most up-to-date evidence. The conditional marketing authorization provides for an agreed plan with specific and legally binding obligations to ensure that additional data continues to be generated and submitted to EMA after approval. It also guarantees that the safety of a medicine is rigorously monitored across the EU through the pharmacovigilance system.